Welcome to the Oracle's Lounge Live, where we are unedited, and cut and uncouth. Coming to you from beautiful and historic downtown Jeffersonville, I am Freddy, your announcer. And now it's my pleasure to introduce a man who isn't dropping balloons at his convention either. Here is the Oracle. Thank you all. And in light of last week's news, we've a new rule for the studio audience. No painting each other with white out. After that little blow up between the Yos, I heard Paul Simon as he released one of his songs. It's now called 51 Ways to Leave Your Lover. Charlestown Animal Control Officer Robert Young was arrested last week on the suspicion that he was selling methamphetamine from his city-owned vehicle. While these alleged acts occurred on the watch of Charlestown Mayor Bob Hall, Justice for Jeffersonville Dogs very quickly issued a statement placing the blame for the lack of control over Young on former Jeffersonville Mayor Tom Galligan and Harry Wilder. I'd like to respond to that, if I may. Well said, Tom. Our guest tonight has been in the public eye for close to 40 years in roles as a reporter and editor for the former Evening News, working for the Clark Floyd Convention and Tourism Bureau, as a member of Clarksville School Board and now as a first-term Clarksville Councilman. Please say hello to our friend John Gilkey. Thank you for joining us, John. I know you've got a ton of stuff going on in Clarksville and I'd like to cover as much ground as we can tonight. Thanks for inviting me, Oracle. And you are right, there is an awful lot happening in the town of Clarksville. Last week the News and Tribune reported that the town council is considering privatizing the management of the town's wastewater treatment plant to save money during a modernization project. Can you share some insights into that? During the past few years, a number of communities around us have had to increase sewer rates in order to keep up with capacity and environmental needs. Now we're having to do the same thing. We want to keep rates as low as possible without putting limits on our system that would harm our ability to develop. Bottom line. Shit's expensive. <laughs> Recently I was told that the Flood Control Board approved a plan that will help protect against flooding in Old Clarksville during heavy rains, when Jeffersonville's wastewater treatment plant is releasing more effluent into Cane Run. That sounds like good news. It is good news. That area in Clarksville has already been flooded with the sanitized water from Jeffersonville's treatment plant and we were concerned that flooding will be an ongoing concern there as our neighbor increases its plant's capacity. I think it's of note that Mike Moore voted against the funding for the proposal to protect Clarksville and I think that points to the old saying that with friends like that, who needs enemies? <laughs> The town's fire rating was recently upgraded from a 5 to a 4, which could help improve insurance rates on structures within the town. For those of you who are unfamiliar with the International Organization for Standardization's rating system, a 10 represents no fire coverage and a 1 is elite fire protection. John, what are your thoughts on this improvement? The town council thanks the members of our fire department for the improvement. I think it's worth noting that we came very close to a 3 rating and there are very few fire departments in Indiana that are to 3 or higher. Because we've so much commercial development in the town, our effective population is much greater than our actual population, and we want people to know they're safe when they come here. And we will get the 3 when we revaluate it again. We're running out of time and I want to ask one last question. Was there something you wanted to say, Jeff? 
You're just here for the crowd's adulation. Well then, have at it. I've said it before and I'll say it again. I love that kid. Congratulations are in order to Silver Creek's varsity football team. The school team went winless last year after having not played varsity football since 1942. On Friday the Dragons beat Eastern High School 44-18, marking Silver Creek's first football win in 70 years. I'm glad they are playing again and I hope Friday's win is just the first taste of football success the Sellersburg community will enjoy. That's our show for this evening. Freddie and I thank John Gilkey for joining us tonight. Please tune in next week when we host a debate between President Barack Obama and Republican nominee Mitt Romney. I am the Oracle, and I am gone.